In my video about Capstan's debut album, I expressed how excited I was for this new record, and I meant it. What I kept from y'all, though, was that I wasn't exactly sold on the singles, so my expectations were tampered just a little. Release day came and went, that was back in May, and I didn't even listen to the mosaic. My mind has been on other things besides music and this channel, and I wasn't motivated to spend over an hour with this new record. But I had a long flight coming up, so I queued the mosaic up for download, and the first time I heard this record in its entirety was at 30,000 feet. That's how I heard it the second, third, and fourth time as well. So what do I think of it? The Mosaic is wonderful. I like Capstan's previous records a lot, but for me, the Mosaic eclipses everything that came before it. I just like Capstan's current sound way more. Restless Heart Keep Running and Separate sound almost hollow in comparison. But the Mosaic is ambitious. It's indulgent. It's long. In their own words, Capstan threw out any preconceptions of what the band was supposed to be and just went for it. They definitely still made a Capstan record, but with a few new sounds sprinkled in. No, actually, not a few. A lot. Sure, it's got some similar political messaging that we've heard from them before, but there's less anger, less moping. Songs like Misery Scene suggest a change in attitude that I hope indicates that they're in better places than they were before. Maybe they've been reflecting, maybe it's finding their soulmates, or maybe it's becoming fathers. Whatever it was for one or for all of them, I related to the Mosaic's messaging in a big way, especially as I'm hurtling towards fatherhood at a breakneck speed myself. I was primed to connect with a lot of the songs here, but even beyond their themes, there's so much depth to these songs sonically. Multiple vocal takes, styles, and vocalists layered on top of each other, pianos, violins, insane guitar solos, features, effects, no stone was left unturned. Ballads, cheesy love songs, a bluegrassy song. It's got some of their hardest songs like Moloch, sorry if I'm butchering that, and some of their softest songs like What You Want. It's a bit of everything. 18 different and colorful pieces that together make this beautiful picture. A mosaic. Aren't I clever for putting that together? When Capstan decided to make such an ambitious album, they had to know that they're asking a lot of their audience. I mean, who's got the time to sit down and listen to a record all the way through? Even less people will have a desire to devote their full attention to it. Seriously though, it is admirable to spend so much time on details that most of us are going to miss, either because we're musically illiterate or we're listening through a layer of earwax with one AirPod. I know it's a lot to ask of anyone, but I think this album is worth spending some quality time with. On the best sound system that you can get your hands on. Your iPhone speaker just isn't going to do it justice. If you're short on time, treat the last six songs as a mini EP. That stretch has a bit of everything. An instrumental, my favorite hard capstan song, a feature, a medley, and what is likely their best song to date that I will again butcher the pronunciation of, Bete Noir. Capstan was kind enough to pass through my B Market City, and I got to hear this song live. This song should bring the house down. It should be a highlight of every set. And for me, I'll bury the hatchet when they bury you was dethroned by this song as my favorite Capstan tune. The final track, the title track, is daunting. You've already listened to basically two albums by this point, and now you see a behemoth 10-minute song waiting at the end. My first listen of this track was magical, though. I was hoping they'd stick the landing, but I wasn't prepared for the impact that this song would have on me. Capstan drag you through every emotion and spell out the album's theme for us one more time. Each member of the band gets a proper send-off on this track, and I know we'll probably never hear this song live, but every time I see Capstan, I'll delusionally hope that this song makes the set list. It's an epic send-off to an album that will likely be their magnum opus. But I won't go blaming anyone for looking at this album and calling it bloated, but for Capstan addicts like me, I'm not going to complain that I basically got two albums of content for the price of one. Last, I want to acknowledge just how cool this album art is too. Capstan commissioned this piece from an artist, and someone actually made a mosaic to be the album artwork of the mosaic. It's beautiful, and it's extra cool that it's a piece of physical art, not even a digital painting or AI or something. I hope it's hung up somewhere special and not collecting dust in a closet. If they're out of walls and need someone who will cherish it forever, Capstan, let's make a deal. Please check out The Mosaic 
Tell your friends, share it on social media if you dig it, and I'll see you all in the next one.